Okay, so y'all, hey, I, I haven't talked to y'all, like, you know, but let me just give you an idea of what's going on. So, everyone was like, okay, I want another video, do more of the day in life of chemistry major, so, here I am. So, um, what do I want to say? Well, basically, I'm, I'm going to do it, like, a day and a half, because, like, um, today I'm doing a group study, like, you know, a lot of students be struggling, like, in my class, and I kind I get most of the concepts, but it's not more so tutoring, it's more so, like, we're getting a group, a group of us, two or three or four, whoever show up, and we're just gonna go over the concepts, and if they need help on something, I understand, I try to explain it, if something I don't understand, then we're gonna put it up on YouTube and work it out on the board, and with these, um, hopefully one of the rooms with the whiteboard is available, because I want to be able to draw on the board. And this is the molecular kit that I had ordered from Amazon that my teacher said we needed. And the chapter is finally here. So we're doing Newman projections. And he said that we can use the molecular kits for the exam coming up next week when we come back from fall break. It's just a two-day break. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to practice with that today. And just keep going over the concepts with, you know, drawing structures and naming them and resident structures and all that. But, yeah, so basically today... Um, today is Tuesday. Um, no, I'm gonna tell y'all, of course, you know, y'all know I be putting a little animations on the screen what day it is. Today is Tuesday, and because I don't have classes on Tuesdays, Tuesdays is normally I normally wake up and work out on Tuesdays, but um, I didn't work out today because I did two workouts yesterday after class, so I was like, you know, today I'm just gonna sleep in, wake up, and I really was, you know, just watching TV from like 12, a good little two hours. And then I got up, and as y'all saw, I made uh, two grilled cheese, and I just drank some coffee, and then I watched some Grey's Anatomy. I completed my linear algebra homework, because that's what I was working on also for all of yesterday. So I was like, okay, I'll do that homework yesterday and then finish it today, so that today I can focus solely on organic chemistry. I have a physics lab, I mean a lab, a physics exam Friday. So I'll focus on physics tomorrow on Wednesday. Cause today I'm dedicating most of my time to an organic chemistry lecture and then starting on my organic chem lab that is due Friday as well. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna take y'all with me and you know, just show how it is. And um, sometimes I use my planner, sometimes I don't. Like last semester, I was very big on using a planner because you know, you will have different types of professors each year. So my last year, last semester, my chem professor, he was very more um rigorous like he had a lot of assignments y'all can see me actually in the library for hours now nowadays i go to the library at least you know once a week and do a work here for like two to three hours but no last semester i was at the library for at least four hours because i would go there on days when i have a recitation so yeah um what else just give me a little rundown on how everything's been going since last semester um my organic chem teacher, he's very, um, he goes at a, a nice pace, if you ask me. And, you know, I don't really sometimes understand the way he teaches. But, like I said, y'all, YouTube is my teacher. YouTube been teaching me um, linear algebra. We're trying to understand the concept. So, it's just, take advantage of YouTube. You're on YouTube now. So, if you can use YouTube for things you like, like beauty vlogs and vacation trips, use it for your education. That's what I do. I taught myself how to do makeup. Everybody was like, oh, how do you know how to do makeup? I taught myself how to do my own makeup. I started in eighth grade. I kept at it. Got good at it. Um, same thing with um, anything. I just feel like once you keep at it, you get good enough with it. Like with YouTube. I started YouTube a long, long time ago. I wasn't dedicated to it. Like I wasn't consistent. I became consistent and look at the results. So it's like I was once, you know, at one 2k followers even under that you know because i started from the ground up when you create an account you gotta start with zero subscribers so it's like never give up always stay persistent consistent you know and sometimes yes you know we gonna have our down days you know but you gotta bounce back that's the most important thing you have to bounce back so i feel like i've been talking too much so i think to head to the school it's 5 30 and we're doing a group study at six I plan, I want to be there for a good four hours, so I'll probably leave at 10, I might leave at 11, I don't know. They don't have to stay that long, but I know I'm going to stay that long because when I say I'm getting into it, like I really want to, you know, get a good amount of, you know, studying done today. Because believe it or not, y'all, here I go talking again, talking again. But y'all, um, chemistry, I like chemistry because it's, it's computational. I hope that's the right word for it. It's like it's computational, like you have to work it out, like it's not just 
you know, cycles and processes you have to learn with biology and physics. I like physics too. It deals with math. Basically, I like science, sciences that have math incorporated into it. So it's like you have to, like I said, you have to work it out. You have to do formulas, stuff like that. Or you have to draw structures like organic chemistry. Everybody was like, oh my God, I hate organic chemistry. But I just feel like it depends on a professor. Like my professor, he doesn't go too fast to the point where, you know, he's just throwing material on us and then we just have to, like, it's not too bad right now. But new and projections, I ain't gonna lie, that is a little difficult. But I'm, that's why I'm going to the library today. Anywho, let me stop talking because if I keep talking, I'll never leave this house. So like I said, I'm finna dip. I'll holla at y'all when I get to the library. Class 2025. What's y'all majors? Business. Business. Okay, okay. I like you. But I'm 24. Oh, okay, you 24? You was on campus last semester? No. Oh, okay. I had to transfer. Oh, okay. Nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet you too, girl. Keep on YouTube for real cause. Thank you for the support. But yeah, y'all still here. Okay. Bye, y'all. Okay, so y'all met the group study meet. Amaya. I'm here with the Maya, and then we supposed to have like two other people coming, but so we finna right now. I'm finna practice on alkanes and alkenes. I'm trying to understand that, and then I'm gonna get into Newman projection. Cause next week you said we're gonna get into cyclo alkanes, so that's really easy. Mm-hmm. Hey. Yo. Yo. I like two, man. I don't know what the fuck this thing. Hmm. Talking about. Room. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not supposed to be in here, but you know. Okay. Yeah, Cause it's not our own thing, but whenever they come, we just yeah, we just gonna move. I don't know the rules in this. You know how to do a resonance this? No, what is that? That? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Wait, so what, like, what you start with? So a resonance first, you want to always draw the carbons and the hydrogens on it. Okay, let me write this up here so, okay. Yeah, I don't know none of this in my life. Okay, let me write the tips that I use down, okay. okay. So, with resonance structures, this is how I know how many hydrogens to write on the structure. So, the end of this line is just, you would consider this one intersection, so that means it would be three. Um, hydrogen on it. But at the end of each line, you gotta remember it's the carbon. So this carbon will have three hydrogens because it's one intersection. Right here is three intersections. You understand that? Like one, two, three. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. So you see it? One, mm -hmm. two, three. So since it's three intersections, this carbon will only have one hydrogen. Three intersections on this one. One, two, three. So it will be one. Wait, one third one. Like Good. This one, one, two. Okay, three. yeah, right, right. And then at the end of this one is one line, so it's one intersection, so it's one hydrogen. So to go back and check it, you know, I'm supposed to be octet rule, so the carbon will be two, four, six, eight. Then two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Then I'm supposed to draw three. Yeah, three. I'm gonna say <laughs> two, four, six, eight. So that's how you know it's in the octet rule. Mm -hmm. Then for oxygen, you gotta write the long pairs. So two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, because oxygen has six electrons, so we got the correct amount of long pairs. So with resonance structures, always draw carbons and hydrogens first. Now he said, if you wanna move this over here, you can change it to a long pair or you change this long pair to a bond. But when you move it, electron, you have to always look at the hydrogen. So like this carbon, you can't put a bond right here because it's like with resonance, you can't get rid of atoms. So like you can't move a hydrogen 
over here, over here, over here. So basically, all the hydrogens are stuck way in. So for this one, okay, I'm gonna move this bar right here, here. If you move it right here, then this one, it'll be two, four, six. So we have to move something right here. So, I'm gonna try it. And so, this is already full. You can't move nothing right here. This is already full because it has three hydrogens. So can't nothing go right here or right here. So I only leaves you these right, two right, to right. move to. Mm -hmm. So that'll help you like when looking at it. Those are already full, so you can't move nothing to it. So each you know, each side is a carbon, so we can already draw carbon on it. Tomorrow? Yeah. So you got carbon right here. That's already it got it already got three of them. Yeah, so it's three intersections. We said three intersections and how many hydrogens? Four. So you can write one. Write one hydrogen on yeah, Three intersections. Carbon and hydrogen. I gotta do two, uh, three of them? Uh-uh, no. Well, <laughs> if it's three intersections. Oh, okay, fair. Yeah, that's yeah. what you're saying. Um, um, she go, one go down there. That's how many intersections? Two. So, two intersections, two hydrogens. X is the draw the long pairs. So now on oxygen, how many bonds is it? Like how many electrons is it at? So I'm gonna do it at? No, I'm saying like how many is drawn on how many electrons do it at? Eight, I think. So much Each two. line, okay. Somewhere right here? Yeah, how many how many electrons does it have in the structure? Each line two, I think. Yeah. So four. So four. All right. So that means if oxygen had six, it would bounce electrons. You can only draw two more yeah, long pairs. Yeah. So you need to draw two long pairs. I can move. I can move one of these right here. Mm -mm. So first, we want to cross out this carbon because it's two, four, six, eight, right? Yeah. But if you move a bond on either side. It'll be two, four, six, eighteen. Ten. And you can't, remember I said you can't yeah, take off a hydrogen. So the hydrogen just can't go nowhere. So this is the carbon where it can't nothing move yeah, to. Okay. So that means you can only move it somewhere else. Okay. Anyway, okay. You want to count the long chain, then number the carbon. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know it's six carbons, so that means the six carbons is going to be called a hexane. Are them names over there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I definitely right there. So we know it's going to be hexane, we know that already. Mm -hmm. Then then you want to go write the functional groups. So if this is the longest chain, these two are functional well these three are functional groups so I'm gonna write the carbon on it. Alright so if this has two carbons it's going to be called a ethyl, ethyl group. So this is an ethyl group uh, CH3 and it's but it's one carbon so this is one carbon this is the methyl group and these are the Okay, so we're doing, we're naming it, that's why you, um, when it comes to numbering a carbon, you have to pay attention to the functional groups. Okay, so this website just gave us this structure, so we finna try it and see what we get right. Now, since we got the methyl groups, we would have to name it from this end because we want it on the lowest carbon. Wait, I'll put that eight on that other carbon. Let's see the side seven. Where? That other carbon, you forgot that carbon right there. You put eight for that one. Which one? So you can put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
No, that was a part of the chain. So, okay. Yeah. So it'll be. Y'all need to go up and down there for me, though. No, name? 11 is called. What is it called? Four nine, try milk through undercane. So y'all, somebody else came because like we had booked when well, we didn't book for it, so we was basically just sitting there until somebody came. So we in here for another like 20 minutes. So we finna practice with molecular structures with Newman projections. So in class he was doing butane, I think. So it was four carbons. One, two, three, four staggers. is gonna become closer to the H, so they're gonna be eclipsed. So you go from staggered to eclipsed, so 60 degrees, CH, supposed to be by the H. Okay, so y'all, Amaya and Will just left, and Spirit and Danielle left a couple, a little while before that, but I stayed back, cause I'm fixing to, what am I gonna do? Oh, I'm fixing to, cause we didn't really get a chance, my camera's down, hold on. y'all so i did my makeup but i had a feeling like it's like i always get this feeling when class is gonna get canceled tell me why my music appreciation class that's my 10 a.m on wednesday got canceled so i just i was really just slagging around just playing because i was doing my makeup like you know fast but then when i got that email i was like hmm well i'm gonna take my little precious time so i think i got ready i don't even like george was about polar like, it'll be like okay when fall began we knew when fall began when it started getting cold that's when i started wearing hoodies not cold but chilly so then um it's like it'll be hot someday so i'll be walking outside with a hoodie on it ain't even chilly outside so at this point i really don't even care so yeah um fixing to head to campus because my that was my 10 a.m class it's 10 11 so until my next class at 11 i'm gonna go get this covid test because at clark we have to get a covid test once a week i'm gonna get my covid test then I'm going to just chill into class and I need to work on editing this hair video I need to have done by today. And then at 12 o'clock, I normally just chill like um, in a little area in my in the building I be in. But I'm going to go to Fried Chicken Wednesday because I ain't been to Fried Chicken Wednesday in like two or three weeks. And I don't know why. It's like I don't be hungry for real all the time. Like if I'm hungry, I'm going to go. But I'm not going to just go, just go. Like, no. Yeah, I know I got to have my coffee. And then also I gotta make sure I bring the wig with me because I like I told you I got a hair appointment at five. I need to stop at ACL and get some cash too. But yeah. I do not like this light, but okay, so y'all I'm on campus. I'm gonna go get my COVID test. It's in the same building as my class later, but you know. I wonder how this test is gonna come out today. But we're gonna see because I'm getting bangs, but like, what is it? I don't know how I want to do it. So. He looks like a 40 year old. I have a question. Mm -hmm. 
So for the unit conversion, will you always give us the, like how you did one mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers? Uh, so like, the, what do you mean the equivalency? Yeah. She left us out early. Our class is normally supposed to end at 12, so she let us out at 11.20. And our exam is Friday, so she said we can bring two pages of notes front and back. So I'm gonna sit here and write out my notes so I can print them out at the library today. And then at 12, I'm gonna go ahead up the calf for our two Wednesday. And then I got chemistry in their recession this afternoon.
right, so y'all, I'm back home. And yes, I had to clip them bangs out my face. Like, that's the only thing about bangs is in your face. So, yeah. But I'm fixing to work on this introduction. Well, the writing portion of my lab project, because it's due at 11 a.m. Friday. So, I'm going to go ahead and knock out all the, most of the work now. And then write the conclusion like probably tomorrow so that's what i'm fixing to do tonight so i feel like i gave y'all a good insight on you know the on campus edition because the last video i was in the library the whole day because we didn't have on campus classes it was on zoom so you know that's the switch and then yeah then also this one was a little different because i added like i included my personal life like like how with being an influencer, you know, I had to get my hair did. So I, you know, I'm scheduling my hair appointment after my recitation, after classes, and then now I'm fixed to finish the lab report. So it's like, it's all about balance and knocking things out the way. Like, I don't ever like to do assignments at the last minute. Unless it's something real easy and simple, then okay, that's the only time. But other than that, I like to have it knocked out a day before. Like, because once you let things pile up on you and you wait to the day of it just it makes you stretches you out like and um, that college stress just hits a little bit different like it's midterms and i ain't just have to, i don't even want to be bothered with all the assignments piling up so yeah like my linear algebra homework um i finished that yesterday and it was due today so like i always like to do it like a day before but yeah y'all so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm fixing to get to work, as I told y'all. And uh, I don't know when this video will be edited because I know I am dropping um, season two, episode four on October 7th. So I don't know if this gonna come before or after. It's, more, it's most likely, I don't know. I really don't know, y'all. It just depends, but like editing is a long process and like, I be tired. So I be taking breaks. So it, it be taking me so long to edit, so. Y'all gonna get it when y'all get it, okay? Okay. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in. If you want me to do more of these series or more of these videos and make it a series, then I'll do that. Or if you just want me to sporadically do them, then I got you. But 